To write the name for SNNO3-4, we first need to realize that this NO3 here, this is a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. We actually have four nitrate ions bonded to the tin. We also need to realize that tin, SN, that's a transition metal. So we have a metal, this group of nonmetals here. We can use these rules to name this ionic compound. So we'll start by naming this SN, this tin here. So we just write tin, and then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is the nitrate ion, lowercase n. And so far, we have the name tin nitrate for SNNO3-4. We said that SN, tin, this is a transition metal. And that means it can have a different ionic charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to four of these nitrate ions. In each nitrate ion, the whole thing has a charge of one minus. Four times one minus, that's four minus. The tin atom has to have a charge of four plus, so the charge, the overall net charge, will be zero. So because it has this four plus, we want to write that in the name. So we put the Roman numeral four, IV, and then we put this in parentheses. So the name for SNNO3-4 is tin four nitrate. If you're given the name, this four, that tells you that the tin has a four plus ionic charge. So you're going to need four of these one minus nitrates when you write the formula. This is Dr. B with the name for SNNO3-4, tin four nitrate. Thanks for watching.